What's happening everyone? Welcome back to Momo Trades. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome in, welcome in. If you guys have been watching for a while, uh, I do apologize for not uploading the past couple of weeks. I was overseas traveling, but now we're back with daily videos, so strap in. Um, we're looking at S&P 500 futures, and today's video is going to be surrounding my four live trades that I took today. So that's enough of me talking. Let's uh, see what I did. All right, and this is the first of four trades I took today. It is a second entry short at the EMA. If we're looking from this new low, we had one leg up, a first entry short, another mini leg up, and all in the same bar we turned down. Uh, it was a little bit congested, but because we had gone down so much uh, throughout the overnight session and we uh, kept being rejected by the EMA once here, another time here, and we had another two bounces, a lower high, second entry short textbook setup. I was expecting to at least test the lows of the day and uh, the trade ended up working out, which we will see shortly. It was a, it did take a long time because it was a pre-market, but I'm going to, I'm going to cut to where uh, the scalp actually got filled. And we did have to ride out a few bars before getting uh, filled with our scalp. But that's why we have our stop loss at one tick above the signal bar. Uh, just because if prices do uh, come back and test the, uh, the top of the bar but don't break above it, then we're safe. So uh, until I have the scout filled, that's when I have my automated strategy to uh, break even plus one. And as we'll see later, I actually did catch a runner at the end of the day. But that's why I have these uh, buy limit orders uh, set up at five and a half points, one at 8.25 points. And I also have one contract as a runner, uh, just a free for all runner that I like to uh, just trail um, at every uh, at every swing high. I'll trail it by one tick. So I'll put uh, the stop loss one tick above the signal bar if we were to keep going lower. Unfortunately, in this trade, we did not have a runner, but as we'll see later, we had a, a pretty nice runner. And we ended up getting stopped out right here, so let's hop on to the next trade. I'll see you guys soon. All right, and this is the setup for the next trade I took. As we see, we were in a massive, massive downtrend uh, up to this point, and we had came off the top of this trend line. We pushed strongly below the EMA. We had a lower high with a nice bearish bar and I was expecting to at least touch the lows, uh, which is why I went short here. Um, I also realized that it's not a second entry long or a failed second entry long for that matter. But because we're in such a strong downtrend, we were trading very nicely from the bottom of this trend channel to the top. Uh, we're expecting to reach the bottom of the trend channel again. We uh, had a strong, strong move. Uh, this was a very, very uh, high probability setup. And the scalp did work for a few points. Once again, I did not catch a runner, which is not very, not very nice to see. But unfortunately, uh, it's what happens in trading. And the really big runners are reserved for... Um, just the best of the best trades, but I'll take I'll take a one point scalp any day, and uh, as we'll see in a second, I did get a uh, I did end up getting stopped out. So let's go to the third trade. I'll see you guys in a bit. And the third trade of the day, as we'll see, was unfortunately a losing trade. Uh, it was a similar uh, thinking behind my uh, previous trade. Uh, we were coming from these highs. We had bounced several times. We had a strong push below the EMA, uh, a lower high with a nice bearish bar. However, you never want to trade directly into the midline of a range. And as we see here, uh, I was going short directly into that midline, which is a very, very big no-no. Um, sometimes you just have to uh, learn trial by error. And over time, you will uh, spot this in real time. 
I was cognizant of the fact that I was going into the midline, but because we had touched uh, the top of the range so many, so many times, I was confident that after this strong push down that we would uh, test the bottom of the trading range. Um, after I did get stopped out, it did end up going just where prices were expected to go. Um, however, it is what it is. Uh, you just got to maintain the same mindset after every trade, whether it's a winner or loser, and just stay with your conviction. Um, unfortunately, I did get stopped out, as we'll see in a second, but let's go on to the fourth trade, which ended up uh, blowing all the other traders out of the water. So we'll see what happened. And in this fourth and final trade of the day, we had a second entry short, but notice how compared to the uh, trade previous to it, where I was going short directly into the midline, this time we had pushed below the midline, tested it again, had a bunch of bunch of resistance, followed by a counting from these lows, a leg up, a first entry short, another leg up, second entry short, very, very bearish bar. At the midline, instead of going into the midline, we were bouncing off of it uh, with a nice, nice rejection bar after a lot of congestion there and this trade did end up making all the trades i took earlier in the day seem like nothing because we got a massive runner i scalped out and i had my limit order at five and a half points uh, go through as well as my limit order at 8.25 points and the runner went for about 12. um it did take a while but i just kept uh, moving my stop loss one tick above every swing, every uh, swing high. So as we see, we pushed down, we uh, had a bar break above creating a swing high. So I put my stop loss one tick above that. Um, and we'll see where my runner ended up getting stopped out. Once again, we moved a very long way. I. Uh, Moved my buy stop one tick above that bar. Um, and yeah, it was 11.75 point runner. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, hopefully you guys can learn from these live trades. Leave me a comment. Uh, leave me a like. Do your thing. Just let's do anything to make this channel grow, baby. Um, peace out. See you guys tomorrow.